guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i update my vlog about learning so today i just wanted to chat about something so i mentioned before that this semester i'm taking a course about adolescence development and last month we had an assignment where we had to write a paper about the positive youth development basically it's about that we have to discuss two models one is the deficit model and another one is the positive youth development we have to discuss that which model we support more and which one we think is more beneficial for adolescence development i read some literature but I still feel like that I don't have a hundred percent understanding of both models. I think it's just or my personal opinion. So both models aim to promote adolescent psychological development, but the deficit model focuses on the addressing problems that already occurred. Well, PYD is. Uh, focus on the adolescence strengthening and promoting positive outcomes. While reading the literature, I found that um, because the deficit model focuses on the shortcomings of adolescents, they might potentially result in adolescents being labeled negatively. So that may have some negative effect on their self-esteem and how their peers feel them. Yes, focusing on the strength of adolescents with PYD might be more beneficial in promoting their positive development and helping them build confidence, thus preventing the occurrence of psychological problems. Anyway, um, that's just my personal report on my monthly learning and I'm still trying to motivate myself to learn more things. Oh, and one more thing that's been bothering me for many years is critical thinking. I think it might be the most difficult skill to develop. That's all I want to share today. See you next time.